everybody, it's Jenny, and today I have a project share for a tag book I started back in February, and I made it using this freebie from Thoughtful Studio, which is still available and I'll link below, along with the Affectionately Yours paper collection. So for this tag book, there were daily prompts, which I started by following and then I just kind of went off and did my own thing. But these are my tags that I came up with. I tried to do some different things with these tags so they wouldn't be so flat because I seem to always lean towards that. And so I tried a lot of layering and different textures with my tags and I think they turned out pretty cute. So this one is definitely my favorite, I'd say. I just love the lacy looking ribbon and the little pocket with the two little mini tags, like tag exception. <laughs> then for this one, I used a wide piece of lacy trim just to add some extra flair to the bottom. And then I brought in some crepe paper and created some rosettes with a little piece of tulle on top for that one. And then I just layered up different patterns and ribbons and rosettes were a big thing I used to create some dimension. And I love how they all coordinate because it's the same paper collection, but individually they're pretty different. So next I wanted to add another tag to my book and I decided to just use the freebie and some craft and red cardstock. And so I started the tag just by trimming out all the different pieces. Once I had all my pieces cut out, I took the main piece of pattern paper and created my tag shape by trimming down a rectangle to five and a half by three inches and then measuring in from the edges about a half inch and then down a half inch from the top and then trimming off the corners. Once I had my tag shape, I brought in a piece of craft cardstock to create a pocket. Then I went ahead and trimmed that down to three and a half inches and brought in my scoreboard to create quarter inch folds so that I could fold in the edges to create my pocket. After I had my edges folded in, I figured out how tall I wanted my pocket and then from the bottom, I added another score line to create the bottom. Then I just go ahead and trim out the corners and add some double-sided tape to all of my edges. So instead of cutting my pocket straight across, I thought it would be cute to add a tear. So I ripped off the top half of the pocket and then taped it onto the tag. After I had it fully attached, I went ahead and used the ephemera pieces and some of the cardstock to decorate my tag.
Next, I brought out my ribbon to find something that would coordinate and ended up going with a piece of burlap ribbon. Once I had my tag all put together, I kind of thought it looked a little plain, so I brought in this Lawn Fawn set that had these little tiny hearts in it, and I just used them to add some extra embellishments to the tag. Once I had my final pieces all trimmed out, I glued them onto the front and then added my tag to my finished tag book. And here is one last look at my finished tag book with the new tag included. And I think it turned out super cute and it's definitely got me inspired to create some more with different paper collections and colors and themes. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!